just going to cut the net and the easiest way I found to do it is with a rotary cutter. You can do it with scissors but to get it absolutely straight I found it was much easier to do it with the um, with the rotary cutter. Uh, I lined it up with the line on there, I cut the edge off that side and then I've cut the edge off this side. And then I'm going to take a needle and I'm just going to um, do a tacking stitch all the way along uh, and then I just to catch it in you don't want to, you want to have the pieces about the same distance apart and just run it all the way to the very end. So once you've got it to the end you just need to tie Hold on to both of your ends and tie a double knot in it. Right. So I scrunched it all up in my fingers and I'm just going to go from back to front just like that until I've got it a nice tight bit in the centre there to hold all that together. Making sure that the band cotton each time comes up to the top. I don't want it down the bottom, okay? So just make sure that it's coming right up on that top bit. Okay, so you just want to do five or six stitches just to hold that together like that, okay? And then that should open up beautifully, all right? And then tie that off in a knot. And another one. I always like to do a double knot when I'm doing it. Okay, and then cut off all those ends. It's just the end of either side. There we go. Okay. So I've just made the tiniest of little marks with a pencil on the doll where I thought that that would ni look nice on there. So I'm just going to pop that on there, like so. And then I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew that button on. I have done a tutorial on this before so you can watch it if you like but all you basically do is you put your foot down on top of the button you have it in a zigzag and you move this piece around until you can you see where the needle is you put it so you put it down in that side and then you're going to lift it up and then you're going to very carefully take it and push it down again Sorry, mine's moved a little bit until it fits into the right size where that hole is. Okay, and you move this around until you get it to the right size for it. One or two tiny stitches here. those long ends and you're finished. So you just want to make sure you do about five or six stitches just to hold this in place, making sure you go right through the elastic each time, okay? And that will hold the whole of that net in place. Make sure you don't get your net tangled with the thread as you're pulling it through. And then once you've done that, we're going to grab the button one in. I've got a smaller button for the hair piece and we're just going to put that in the same as you would normally sew on a button just going in and out and in and out of the holes. You can do this on the sewing machine you don't have to do it on the uh, with a needle in thread it does work with the sewing machine I just thought I'd show you both ways to do it okay there we go. If you find that it's not exactly in the centre of your rosette or you're not quite happy with the way it's going, just wiggle it around until you get it in the position you want. And it's quite hard to get that needle through that elastic and through that button. So I'm using my board to help me push it through. And you probably want to do about five or six stitches in there just to hold that in place. Once you've got all your stitches in, like that, just come to the back and do a knot 
I don't want two knots so I'm going to like to do that and I like to twist my thread around pop my needle in through the back like that okay so that's one and then I'll do another one I always like to do two some people just do one but I just don't know why just like to give it that extra little bit of security there we go and so that's your two stitches and you can cut that at loose end as well off and there you go that's your little bobble just cut out any little ends you have off there be careful not to cut that elastic there we go and that's nice there we are so that's it now what you could do if you wanted to i just don't mind very plain for this uh, is you could maybe had add a little bit of ribbon in there in behind if you wanted it to that might look pretty or you could put ribbon on the top and have very fine ribbon sitting on it or something like that you could also now go around so i'm just going to show you these for effect you're going to need to stick them on with a little dab of super glue underneath but they do stick on quite well they're not too bad um, but obviously if you're giving them to children um, you, i would uh, make sure that you've used a bit of, a tiny bit of super glue what you do is put a tiny bit of super glue on a cocktail stick and then stick it onto the back of the gems and then put them on um, but you can just put them on like that around and they look really pretty on there uh, so give you that extra little bit of sparkle when you're doing it just like that they don't wash though they do come off in the wash so probably if you're going to be doing it and you're going to be washing it i probably wouldn't bother putting those off on although if you super glue them uh, well then they might stay on okay so there is the hair bubble i hope you enjoyed this video goodbye Thank you.